I think if you're missing the snow after the warm weather that we've had, this is going to be another pick me up as well. I know I love the snow, so I'm excited to see some of that falling. We've got a winter weather advisory in purple for the central portions of our area and a winter storm warning in pink to the south. And that's for tonight and into early tomorrow morning for the potential for snow that we're expecting the heavier amounts of further south where that warning is in effect. Already seeing some of that snow kind of inch through the northern or rather the south and western portions of our area. I think the snow is going to be pretty spotty and light this morning at best, but it will be filling out as the day goes on. And in the meantime, we're dry and I think pretty comfortable too. Maybe a tiny breeze with temperatures in the mid and upper 20s now in the Champlain Valley. Same with Montpelier and Lebanon. 30 degrees in Middlebury still and 30 degrees in Bennington. We're going to get up into the mid 30s by lunchtime, afternoon and evening in the upper 30s. That breeze picks up and that's also when that snow continues to take over. And that's why we've got your impact icon for the second part of the day because that's when we're expecting most of this to start adding up. Here are our totals. This is going to be falling this afternoon, this evening, and early, early tomorrow morning. And by that time, by tomorrow morning, we're expecting one to three inches for most of the Champlain Valley and areas north and west of there. Maybe a little rain mixing in there as well, but then you just get a little bit of elevation and the further you go south, that's when you start to see those three to six inch totals by the end of tonight and into early tomorrow morning. I do even think uh, some of our northern parts of the darker blue areas here are going to be on the lower end of that scale, and then the southern parts will be on the higher end, maybe six, seven, or even eight inches way on up in the southern Green Mountains and into the portions of New Hampshire. Regardless, just kind of a sloppy afternoon here ahead of us. From, from now to about midday, those showers are going to be relatively light and pretty spotty. But like I said, they only continue to fill out right around commute evening commute time, dinner time, and right after dinner is when more of those showers will become more widespread, particularly for some of our southern areas. Those deeper purples that you see here on Futurecast this evening is where we're expecting most of that snow to really add up. And after that, it clears out pretty quick. So it moves in gradually throughout the day, clears out pretty sharply overnight tonight as that system moves on. We're going to find some lingering clouds at times, breaking up a little bit by Tuesday afternoon. And then we have much drier weather over the next couple of days. And we're also going to find warmer weather too. So we end up with a messy, breezy, snowy Monday. Again, evening time is the biggest impacts from that storm system. Drier, warmer Tuesday, we end up in the mid 40s on Wednesday with maybe some clouds and a few spot showers at best, but otherwise we're pretty dry in the coming days until a next ch chance at some mix on Friday morning.